Well, I think as a depositor with large banks or, or, or as uh, somebody that leaves their securities with large brokerage firms, I, I really don't think you need to, to worry very much. We, we have a too big to fail doctrine operating in this country relative to what you might call the innocent parties in, 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 in uh, big financial institution failures. We don't have it in respect to the equity holders, nor should we have it. But I would not, um, I don't worry about leaving my securities, my personal securities, or for that matter, Berkshire securities, uh, with the large securities firms. I don't worry about my bank accounts at, at big banks. So, but you're uh, talking cash accounts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cash not, accounts. Not margin. Yeah. And the, uh, uh, but if you, in terms of owning the equities of, of companies like that, or in terms of the fallout, the, uh, the big thing that will, really the only way a smart person that's reasonably disciplined in how they look at investments can get in trouble is through leverage. I mean, it, uh, if somebody else can pull the plug on you during the worst moment of some kind of general financial disaster, you go broke. And Charlie and I both have friends that have, where that's happened to them. but. Absent leverage uh, and absent just kind of going crazy in terms of valuation on things, uh, the world the world won't hurt you over time in securities. And, uh, I mean, you won't you won't be subject to the financial cataclysms that uh, they don't need to do you in. If you have any more money during periods like that, you buy. Uh, Berkshire, I think, is an extraordinarily strong position. In respect to any kind of a financial cataclysm, uh, uh, I, do, I think we would be definitely the last man standing, and then some. And while we don't go around, you know, like undertakers looking for a plague or anything like that, you know, we would we would probably do very, very well uh, uh, in the end. Uh, uh, and that's happened a couple of times actually in the past where we've. We've had cash and we've had uh, courage when the world was panicking, and and it's and we we've, we've done reasonably well during that period. And we've never gotten we've never gotten hurt by uh, what was happening in the world around us, at least in the last 30 or 40 years. Uh, Charlie, well, I think that's plainly right.